morning. If y'all good, first off, good morning. Hey y'all, I went and worked out today, and when I tell you this is the first time I worked out in probably like two weeks, baby, I was just trying, like <laughs> just giving it, you know. But as of right now, I am currently making dinner some food for the week to do like a little reset. So as y'all seen the last vlog, I did my um I did my oh. as y'all seen the last vlog, I went ahead and did my um reset routine for the week. This is the only thing that I didn't end up doing. Literally I take oops. Literally I take a pot of water. Put it here. Some chicken breast. Literally. And then just sit it in there. It's already 844. I need to eat my breakfast. It's already 844. I need to eat my breakfast. Make this thumbnail. Make this vlog public. Clean out my car. Put a sign on these trash cans. I have some stuff to do today. For real, for real. So if your dog's stool is like super loose, the more rice you use, of course it'll thicken it up. And then here's the actual chicken in here. And then I just boil this until it's like completely cooked. I don't put any type of seasoning in it at all. I just literally let it rock out with its cock out. But um, I don't want too much of the water to cook out because I know I'm going to put the rice in. But it's crazy. When I cook her just regular rice separate, she won't like mess with it that bad. But if I actually take the rice and put it inside of here with the chicken, I guess, essence water... She'll tear it up, so, you know. Look at her. She's like, hurry up with this food. I'm coming, quick as I can, Bookie. Mommy's coming. Ooh. So first things first, I would like to say this video is brought to you by Manscape. Manscape is a global men's lifestyle brand that carries trimmers, hygiene formulations, as well as premium boxers. So they are great for Father's Day. Y'all know it's right around the corner. So you need to get your husband, your dad, or just a special man in your life a gift. This is the perfect stop. So Manscape has a series of a bunch of different products, but I'm going to tell you about a few today. The Weed Whacker 2.0. It basically is a trimmer for your nose and ears. And any man that's showing a little bit too much hair in those areas would love this because it's like super sleek. It gets right in there and gets it out. The most important tool to help them stay trimmed up down there is the Lawnmower 4.0. It has a ceramic blade that makes it super seamless for shaving to avoid nicks and cuts. So you know you won't be cutting yourself up and he actually can shave with confidence. The great thing about these products are that they all are waterproof as well as cordless and they also come with like a super cool charging station that I'm pretty sure any man would love as a gift. I would personally suggest the Performance 4.0 just because it comes in a package and it comes with the essentials that every man would most likely want and need. This includes the Lawnmower 4.0, the Weed Whacker 2.0, the Crop Preserver, as well as the Crop Reviver, and two free gifts, one including a leather premium bag and some microfiber Manscaped briefs. Make this Father Day special with Manscaped using my code ITTAY20 for 20% off plus free international shipping. Everything will be linked in the bio. Also, I've been wanting to clean these strawberries, so somebody told me if you like put, somebody told me if you put a little salt it'll like um, bring all the bugs out of them or something. So we're going to see. I'm going to just let it sit for like a minute. Because I'm about to make me some oatmeal. Honey, this is the chicken and rice. She knows it's ready too. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. 
Yummy. Lord, this is hot. I need a fork or another knife. Something to hold it. Um, Okay, so one thing about it, I have some orders. I don't know if y'all know, my Poshmark store is still going. So I do have to ship some orders off from my Poshmark store. I also have to go to my post office and I have to go to UPS and return this bracelet because it broke on me. Um, So I will be going to go do that. And yeah, if a video upload in the yellow and I have enough time to re-upload, oh, that's just what I'm going to do. Because I feel like at the end of the day, um, it'd be a difference with YouTube pushing videos and if it's in the yellow. So I'm like, uh uh, I ain't nobody's rush and I ain't on nobody's time. So I kind of been working on this all morning. Thank God, right now, I don't really have any content to upload. I mean, content to edit. I'm just kind of waiting on my approvals of everything. See, this one says it's limited. I don't know what it is. I have to go through that video and really look and see. Might be boobs or something like that. I, I have no clue. So I'm about to go upstairs. I have to go get those two little bracelet things. Oh, and I got to get that code. Because, you know, when you do returns on Amazon, Amazon does like a, um, they give you a code. I, mean, I got to, um, I got orders to pack. Where would I be? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm about to go in here like the queen I am. Hopefully, there's always a long line in here. I'm about to say, I'm going to a long line. They got these in here in Hobby Lobby, and this is only like $4.99. And normally I know they like more than like $20. Oh. Yep, like 20. Hey. Mm hmm. Let's see. I think they do know. Yeah. Oh my god, I would love this for denim. But I don't have anything pink in my house. Oh my god, it's so cute. Choking and the crazy. Oh, chill, hold on. 
had enough. I'm not gonna go Oh, one moment. So as I was saying, I felt like she was eating her food. I felt like she was eating her food too fast. But, and it's so crazy. I had this thought last week. So I was walking denim randomly and I was like, I don't know how to do the homeless. Like that was just a random thought. Don't know why I came in my head. Has no clue. I was like, I don't know how to do the homelick on nobody. Like a human, a dog. I probably should know this. That mindset came in my mind like a week ago. And I honestly feel like it, it randomly just came in and then it went out. Like it flew in my head, flew out. But now I think it was putting me on alert for what was a really occur. Because, and I don't know if that happens to y'all, let me know. Because I felt like it was kind of, not creepy, but it was like, why is this all coming in my head? Girl, so I take it upon myself to feed her and watch her eat. And I'm like, I feel like she eating too fast, but I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. So I was loading the dishwasher, just wiping the kitchen down, you know, making sure it's clean. Next thing you freaking know, I kid you not, this little hoe starts like looking like she's trying to swallow hard and it's not working. Like, like okay, <laughs> let me let me not overreact because I know before the old me, I used to overreact about everything. So I was like, let me not overreact. Let me not overreact, girl. Next thing you know. I see her trying to like throw up and then I'm like, oh no, she's choking, like gotta be. So I looked at her and I was like, oh my God, stay calm. Like baby, I was so proud of myself. I stayed so calm. First thing I did was go on YouTube. And my thing is if somebody is going on YouTube to see how to do the homelick or how to, what to do if a dog is choking, the video should not be no longer than like a minute, if that. Number one, because most time the person is watching this in distress. This video was three minutes long, but when I looked in the, th when I first clicked, I seen the thumbnail, I had the dog like by their little hind legs upside down. So I'm watching it and she is just talking, 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 girl. I'm like, oh my God, at this point. So then I'm like, I can't watch this. So at this point, I grabbed it by her little legs and like shake a little bit. And it just came right out. This girl had literally like, swallowed the food she wasn't even she was so excited I'm assuming that she just was swallowing she wasn't even chewing like she was just going crazy on it I'm like be for real denim be for real you know what I'm saying but you know what can you do kids gonna be kids but I feel like you put me in a weird circumstances and now I gotta really go and get my certification it's fine but uh, Oh, this curl turned out pretty. So what I'm doing is I uh, just did a hair review of this wig. Love the wig. Super thick and nice. But I want to actually um, do I want to curl it. And I don't really, y'all know I don't normally curl hair at all. So let's try this. I tried to use my um, Barbie curlers that I got from Cheese So Fusion. They sent me this, but I mean, it looked like their curlers was, um, they only go up to 410, but I got Ming Lee's curlers from her brand EAP Heat. Her curls, up, her curlers go up to um, 450. I'm like, oh, that's the ones I need. And then I also did layers in it because if you really want your hair to curl well, you need to put layers in it. So, cause the thing about it is with hair that's so long, it be so heavy. If you ever, it's like long, heavy, and it's weighing the curls down. You do layers, you got short pieces, so that's not gonna really weigh it down that long. It keeps a little bit more of a bounce. Girl, I be on YouTube looking at people do like a little baby hairs and stuff. 
Cause I just be wanting to see, like I'm trying to get into doing my baby hairs better. Cause I feel like they be all right, but they could be better. They for sure could be better. But I don't want to wait to curl down with this. So I'll be trying to do what I gotta do. And then I'm just going to, this little curl holding some heat, honey. Oh, period. And I'm gonna just curl it. So Leah, that's my homegirl. When I was in LA, we went to the vegan spot. She's super cool. Y'all love Leah's energy. I love Leah's energy. She is like a super genuine person. When I first met her, we didn't even really know each other like that. And she would always send me like affirmations. And at first, I was like, this girl being genuine. Because you know, I was doing my own traumas and past whatever. And then I was like, you know what? It seems like she is. And she, ever since I just released, I was like, oh my God, I really actually like her. Super sweet art. So, um, we're supposed to be going to some Japanese restaurant. The views of it look so cute. I forgot what it's called, but when we get together, I'm going to definitely record in there. Oh no, this is not a curl that I wanted to use. I want to use, baby, I like my stuff to be hot. Hit me to 450. But I got these cheap Barbie things out of a, um, what's it called? Like a sponsorship package. They had, not sponsorship, it was like a PR package. They had sent it to me, which I thought was so nice. So, yeah. And girl, I'm still watching Sisters. Let me tell you, Andy's pissing me off. And I don't be getting pissed off like that, but she was pissing me off. I don't know what she doing, but, you know, no us. Also, another thing I learned how to make your curls look better, you don't have to, when you get up here, you don't have to curl right at the root. You can kind of leave a little bit of space. That's what be making them look like the little Instagram curls, you know? But I got my curls. And I'm gonna take them out. So that's what good girl, that was the drama saga. And then yesterday I was so tired, I didn't even get a chance to come back on here and show y'all none of the stuff I ended up getting from the store. So I'm gonna have to do that probably um I might do it today if I have time. Cause I still, girl, I left it bagged up at the door. I don't you know, I feel like doing with this right now. Oh, I need to make sure I oil these edges. I mean, these ends. So we'll put that out there. Okay. So yeah, honey. The socket is Okay. So I'm getting dressed. I'm pretty much done. I don't know why my room always looks dirty. But I'm pretty much done. I got this dress. I remember it used to be long, so I folded it up and then pinned it. And I gotta put another pin on this side. So I was gonna put some um, pink jewelry on. One of my subbies sent me these. And I was gonna put them on. But what y'all think, the gold jewelry or this? I feel like personally, if I'm gonna do these shoes, I think it needs to be gold jewelry. I feel like these earrings is just so fun though. Or I can put these big chunky gold hoops on. Oh, they look a little better. Ooh. I don't know. I gotta get out of here. Why does this always happen to me? It don't matter what time I started getting ready because I have to film the outro of my video. But yeah, I'm wearing this little dress. And these pink fuzzy shoes. And I'm about to be out. And I got some purple glasses, but I'm not gonna wear them. They just for the for the vibes. And then I have <laughs> if oh my earrings. Oh the brand I never told y'all from the last video, but the brand is called um 416. 416. And that's the Instagram also. That's the Instagram also. If you guys were wondering about my jewelry that I've been wearing lately. I'm gonna put this one on. And then put the TA. And then also, I wanted to put on 
my little Amazon finds, the girls that know, know. Put this on. Honey, I'm trying to hurry up. Cause remember, I told y'all my other one broke. But they sent me a, a new one, like. My boo boo is in town. I'm trying to get her to move here, but who knows? Because she's a it worked in LA. She's an LA so. baddie now. <laughs> what you get? I got some green beans, some garlic noodles, and some mushroom sticky rice. Yummy. I got this beef, honey. I hope it's good. Or I'm going <laughs> to send it back. And then I got some garlic noodles. So I got me a pineapple upside down cake. I don't know why I tried this. And you knew she was going to get a sweet. Okay. Girl, you know I had to put my little camera. Hey, friend. Look who came out in the city, honey. Hey, y'all. It's the bar. Period. Look, I asked them, was they all together? I'm like, damn, y'all all just stand out here. <laughs> yes, I'm going to go over there, though. I'm trying to make sure my bag shows. Yes. But I'll be impressed. Show the Chanel with the girl, okay? Bring your hand down a little Honey, why I seen Bougie Barbie and then I seen Tasha Washington. I said, did y'all together? And they said, no. Girl, I thought they was all together. It was a little YouTube link up outside of, what's the place called? Uh, Le Cantino? That we was at? That was not what Wait, it was called. <laughs> Girl, you talking about some L.A. Le stuff. Colonial. <laughs> She's talking about Cantino. Girl, Cabo Cantino is in L.A. <laughs> Wait, you found the spot? This shit is 17 minutes away. She did? Driving at 17 minutes away. If this is the same spot. I'd What's it called? Ghost bar? Yes. What's it giving on the inside? That is temporarily closed. Oh, baby. We did. We done with. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we done with. These stores closed early. There's a lot of cute little spots around here. I'm in Buckhead Village. Slide through. I might not be here, but... My beautiful my friend. Oh, do you want to get it? Sure, do, babe. It was good. Mm, I love you, friend. Oh, hold on. Oh, Tell her. That's not her? No. Well, let's go get the food real quick. <laughs> let's get the food. Is that her over there? Y'all, we went to this um, little bar. It was cute. We had a vibe. So basically, I'm about to switch my purse over. I just went and worked out. Girl, I did not feel like going, working out at all. And I'm super excited. Basically, P from Quality Control, and that's the record label that um, has Cardi B under them, Little Baby, Migos, all them. Lakia. They are doing a, well, P is having his birthday party, so I got my invite. We gotta keep those. I got this um white jacket from this company. Let me rip the tag off. From this company called Cool Cool Run. Cool Run. And then I also have like my little white pants on as well as my little bag. And I'm gonna put my little purple crocs on that I got the other night. So my fit is about to be super cute. And then my mic is back in town. And I haven't went over there yet, so I'm going to go over there real quick. She had bought me some stuff, so I'm going to go see what I got. And then I'm going to drop dinner off also over there as well. So that's on the agenda for today. Period. So come on, Denim. Oh, I forgot her little toy. Then let's go. Take her over here. I came to bring Denim to her pappy. My son, Poochie Daddy! Hey! I'm in Miami. Oops. Damn! She just can't say excuse me. me. Who, me? Yeah! Girl, that was not me. She's in here in the Uh-uh, we don't cuss on this channel. Who cursing? 
You saying dick? We don't curse on this channel. Oh, I was just yeah. <laughs> So, my so, got me something cute. Ooh, I already know what it is. Did you just, what'd you do? What happened? What happened? That pain. She rude. What? She didn't say it, then me. Stop cussing! And maybe she just was overwhelmed with joy. This is so cute. I know you like it. You did? Yeah. It looks really nice. Thank you. So what you gonna do with it? I ain't know. I'm gonna wear this so. You gonna wear it? Like out? Yeah, what else am I supposed to do? No, I didn't know. At first I seen it, I thought it was like a beach bag. No. But now I like it for like, I will wear this on a regular. It's cute. I need to get me some salmon pink shoes to match now. Uh, what other colors they have? Black, yellow. You saw them. Oh yeah, I did. Black and yellow. I like this. Do you like it? I love it. This one got it. Uh, it was cute. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. When you get on my nerves, I'm going home. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going out. I'm leaving. I'm out here. Then I'm leaving. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Yes, thank you, my mind. It's so fun. Oh, okay. because somebody one time told me that I shouldn't film accidents but to be honest nobody died but I just feel like that was so crazy like traffic was holding us up for like I was sitting there for like 15 minutes I'm like why do why are we just sitting here but now I see why because it was like all those cars it was like maybe what four to five six cars Child, I don't I don't know what that was that was crazy that was crazy but I didn't even vlog when I was inside a store Girl, I was so preoccupied. First off, when I be in Linux, I like to get in and get the freak out. I don't need no distraction. I don't need nobody trying to get me, talk to me, be around, none of it. So, right now, um, I did get some good, girl, I got me some good buys. Some really good stuff. So, I'm going to show you guys the stuff I got when I get home. Um... Right now I'm on my way to this beauty supply store. My homegirl was talking about it the other day. She was like, it's called Beauty Master. And it's like super big, like a super, super big um, beauty supply store. So I'm going to go over there and see what they got going on. Because, number one, y'all know I love going to the beauty supply store. And I need to get a bundle of hair. I'm trying to debate on how I want to wear my hair. Now, I could wear my hair like this and curled and just have like a cute little piece down. I could have. But something that I have been struggling with is when I curl my hair, the curls do not want to stay. What is that? Do anybody know? The curls don't want to stay. Like, they'll stay for maybe like an hour. But after that, the curls is gone. So, if I'm going to curl my hair, I want my curls to stay throughout. And I promise you, I've used hairspray, like white girl hairspray. I've also used, like, glass to be nothing stinking work so I don't know what it is if anybody can give me recommendations so that their curls stay all day um but if I don't do that I'm gonna do a ponytail like a frontal ponytail I think that'll be super cute and super new because I haven't done a frontal ponytail before so you know we'll see we'll see what I come up with um but that's all that's going on right now then I'm going right back home probably just eat relax clean up and then edit videos the usual but I definitely have to do a little haul for y'all because I got some super cute stuff um let me tell y'all so y'all is so funny like that's how I know we all like we here we sis because y'all commented on that vlog y'all like mind you me going to the game whatever but I kept it real cute real short simple cute y'all was keeping y'all comments super your like super cute and sweet to the point y'all was like mm, we seen what we seen honey Ooh. I see a basketball player child. Like, 
Y'all was so funny. That's why we be we probably be acting like I promise y'all. Oh, then let me give you a little mini, mini story time. So while I'm in the mall, and you know how they got the kiosk in the middle where the girl is like standing up, like where they do like different little shops. So they had like a sunglass shop right there. Why? Um, I was like, I had all my bags and I literally was holding them, but I was trying sunglasses on. But if I really wanted to, I could have closed it and slipped my sunglasses right in the bag. Like I literally could have stole sunglasses, but I was not thinking. I was thinking in my head, like, oh my God, if I really was still right now. Nobody would know, but I don't be stealing. Like that's not nothing I'm going to be doing. Like girl, I got, I got the money to pay for it. Like, like, I'm not about to steal. So, while I'm in there, my mind saying, thinking, like, wow, where is the lady over here? Because people could really be just stealing from her. And I'm, like, trying the glasses on and putting them back and then trying to walk. Girl, why when I'm thinking that the, the security of the mall start working up, walking up to me? And I was like, I was like, excuse me. She was like, excuse me. I said, oh my God, this bitch think I'm stealing. That's my first thought was. Because you know, my mindset was just on if somebody was stealing, nobody would know. Girl, so she looked at me and I'm like, oh, I'm not stealing. I said, oh, I'm not stealing. And I just looked like that. I said, oh, I'm not stealing. And then she's like, oh no, I'm one of your followers. I said, oh, hey girl. I said, oh my God, I feel so crazy. I said, cuz. I thought she was walking over here because you thought I was stealing. I'm like, that's how I know I can't steal. Because I would have told her myself, I was not stealing. Let's clarify. But even if I was, I really sat there and said, oh, I'm not stealing. Like, girl, she didn't even ask me that. But that's the type. <laughs> I'll be doing stuff like that. It's either like I'm real gangster with it or, girl, I'm just going to sit here and just say it out loud. But I think because I was in my mind so heavy that if somebody was to steal from this lady right now she wouldn't have a clue that that's why I said that like off rip that was my first like I guess impression to say that because why would I say that like girl what's wrong with you I'm slow <laughs> but yes honey not the little water boy the water um water boys is out here selling water child they don't even got the water in um coolers hot water but anyway so yeah I'm going oh, child the gas a little too much now but y'all i'm on my way to um the beauty spot store so when i hit to over that way i will let you girlies know period this is the biggest beauty supply store i've ever seen in my life y'all it's over here near green Briar mall and don't green Briar mall and don't worry i know it's the hood over there but girl that is so big sheesh okay so let me show y'all something i bought for my car my mother's on here. Would you like to say hello? You want to say hey? Y'all on the phone? Hey. To my vlogging channel. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Not the hey, y'all. So, hey, I bought these lights for my car. I don't know if it's going to work or not. A rip off. Oh my god, this is such a scam. They made it like it was gonna be like so many little lights. Girl, it's barely any lights. Like, uh, why would they freaking scam me like this? You said what? Oh, yeah, I would never let nobody. I say I'm gonna do this haul, so let me go ahead and get my haul stuff together. Period. So, first things first, I went to that big, big beauty supply store, but I didn't vlog inside of there because I felt like that. You know how them Asian people be. You you know. So, I just was like, okay, I'm not gonna do it. But I did do some video clips on my phone, so I'm gonna insert them over here. But that one was super, super, like, super big. And don't take no offense to what I said because I'm, I'm not trying to be like offensive, but I'm just being honest. You know how it is when you go to be a supply store. And they be like really like, it just be super uncomfortable low key. So I ended up getting, first things first, I got this bundle and they said it was human hair. And it only cost me about like 20, oh no, this was the bundle that was $32. It was $32, this is 20 inches. Um, I'm thinking about doing like a ponytail, so I already got one bundle, so I'm going to add this other bundle to the ponytail, so you see. I need an extra little bundle, but I didn't want nothing expensive, because at the end of the day, this was just going to be something quick to do. It wasn't nothing that was supposed to be given like, it ain't giving like I'm going to wear it out. It's giving like it's part of a ponytail, so I feel like it could be suitable, and then I ended up getting some other stuff too, so let me show y'all. So... 
I got me some Dugo hair oil. This is the hair oil I like to use when I um, oil and grease my scalp. I also got this lace tint. Um, it's called Red by Kids Lace Tinting Spray. I got light warm brown and medium brown. Y'all know I love to try out new products. So I ended up getting this just because I want to try out something new. And the lady told me in the store she recommends this brand or even. So between the two, they really good. But I decided to try this one. Now I got the even free spray. Um, it's a ponytail free spray. But I wanted to use this to see if it would help my curls to last longer because y'all know even be really good like i laid this with even but i this was the um adhesive spray so i want to see that and how it would do i also went old school with it and got the pump it up styling spritz but i feel like it might make the hair too freaking hard and it was on sale only three dollars so i was like okay and then i got me just a little styling comb basically so that i can pretty much you know cut layers a lot more easier and then Honey, yes, let me bring my hair to the front. Period. <laughs> let me stop. But then I also, girl, I ended up getting some Q tips because I had ran low on some. So that's just going to be replenishing that. I got me some Duo Lace um, Strip Adhesive Lash Glue. And then I also just got me some hoops for $3. So that was everything I got. And I ended up spending all together $107. So, we'll see. And my next hair review, I'm probably... Oh, my next hair review, I'm probably most likely going to talk about... The lace tinting spray. And another thing that it is, it's waterproof. So, it had me a little nervous. I'm like, what if it really... Um, I spray my lace and then it don't look good. And now I'm stuck with it. But we're going to wish for the best. I'm going to see which one looks the best, though, as far as blending with me. Then... know if y'all really want to see these y'all probably don't but I went, oh lord okay so i went to happy lobby the other day i got these two things basically these are like i guess you know you put them up here something like that so this one was like six dollars this one was like four dollars so i'm gonna put stuff in there i don't know what i'm gonna put as far as like decor wise and just have it sitting up there I think that's super like cute. I don't know if I want to use it for the kitchen or if I want to use it for the living room yet. And then I also ended up getting two cutting boards. They both were twenty dollars a piece, but they went down to four ninety nine. Um, I think this one I'm actually gonna use, and then this one will probably be put on display. I don't know though. Everything in this house kind of do be surrounded around like wood, so you know. But that's actually two different types of wood, so. Don't pay that any mind. Oh, and then I went to Target and I got two candles. Um, these two candles are from Tabitha Brown's collection. Y'all know I love this. I love Auntie Tabby, period. So I ended up getting this one. And I don't know how you tell what scent is different. I guess maybe just because of the decor of the candle. But this one smells super good. It's like a passion fruit. I thought this one smells super good, like passion fruit. And then this one is more like, but it's like super strong, kind of. And then this one, it's like a faint little coconutty vanilla, but very subtle. It's not strong at all. Like, it's like a undertone scent. Like, it would be a great house scent. Because I need to get a scent for my house. I was watching Chelsea, and she was talking about, like, her house has, a, her home has a scent. And my home doesn't have a scent because... I guess I thought that with doing decor, it would come like that. So I'm trying to think now what I would like to do as far as my home having a scent because it smells super good, but it's no scent in my home. So, and honestly, I think for you to have a scent in your home, it most likely would have to be something that's like perfusing through like um, like a diffuser. So it's like genuine generating and keeps going. And it's not just only when you have a candle because at that point you have to have a hundred million candles lit on a regular basis. So I'm going to get something here that's like just steady pushing scents out and then just have it surrounded my home because I really want that. Um, and then also, girl, honest is enough. I don't know if y'all like food reviews or care, but I was on my Delta flight and they gave me some chips. And they were so good, the little sun chip, cheesy chips. And I'm not a person that's really a big cheddar fanatic, but they taste so good. It's like a subtle little taste. It's super good. 
And then I also got the popcorn. But my problem is when I get the big one, I just sit there and eat it all. So these come in like mini bags. I did not know Target had these. So if you do like these, girl, go to Target and get the mini bags because they got the mini ones through a snack pack. And then also another thing I ended up getting from um, Hobby Lobby was this. This was on sale as well. This was only like $8. And it matches, um, hold on. It so this is going to be a whole little moment when I actually set this up and set this up and have this sitting there. I probably had this even like on display. That might be cute. So, you know, and then I want it low key. I kind of feel like I want this in the living room though. So it could be like rolled blankets in here. Because people be coming to my house like, where the blankets? And I'm like downstairs to my, in my garage basement. Well, not garage, but basement area. And then also I seen this girl on TikTok. She, which this vlog should be actually really fun because it's Zay's birthday and she doing like a little pool party so I'm gonna be sliding through and then I seen a girl take Casamigos the drink and actually pour this inside of this so, so yeah we're gonna see what that give too I know that's gonna be a crazy thing because that's a bunch of sugar and then I got mustard because I love mustard and I'm low so that's like my little home haul I'm sorry if it wasn't like very like phew. But, you know, I'm just being realistic. That's the things I ended up buying. Um, and then I got some stuff from Amazon. So I got this from Amazon. I, what the heck? Oh, wait. Okay. I was like, it did it come broke? But no, it didn't. So, um, I've been loving watching the videos of girls going shopping. Like, when they be in the store, like, come shop with me for this. Come shop with me for that. So, I bought one of these things. That way, I could put it on my cart. So when I'm in there shopping, we can talk about me shopping, basically, like the things I got. And I'm going to have me a little mic. So I seen this girl do it. I don't know who it is. I got to go find her name. I don't watch her like on a regular basis, but I do like those kind of videos when she take people shopping with her because I'm like, that is so cool. So um, I got the adapter that comes with it. I guess you got to squeeze it in and out. Oh, yeah, there you go. Squeeze it out. This I got this from Amazon. It just got here today. Then this little thing. You actually can put this on as an adapter and then make it like more swivelly, but I don't know because it's pretty swivelly itself. And then have no clue what this is. Or maybe this like, oh, one of them things to hold. So yeah, I got one of these. So that way when I'm in the store, I can wrap this around my cart. This is perfect for like vlogging and I know I'm going to the grocery store, period. So I'm still waiting on my lens adapter to come for my camera. I'm gonna have to order another one because that one really ain't came. Oh, and then this came today too. Because, I don't know if y'all know, but I have three balconies. So I have one in the front and I got one up top and then I have one in the back. So um, I'm just getting all my patio furniture for each part. So I did the front, I just need to add little accent things on and then I'm doing the back and I need to add like, um, I need to add Stuff back there so I got this rug from Amazon so maybe I think the patio furniture is supposed to be delivered on the 9th but most likely the 9th is a Friday so I mean most likely I'll be able to put it together and I do need to order me some lights or get some lights to put back there as well so that'll be super cute yeah I don't know but I just feel like that was my little home haul of things I ended up getting so, right now, I'm about to kind of fix up, clean up, and then eat. And then, I'm going upstairs to kind of clean up there. And then, I'm going to sit down and do some video editing and stuff like that. So, that's what the mood is. Because I want my house together. Like, I don't want it looking crazy. So, yeah. That's what's going on. Then, um, you know that funny, Maya? Over there, even though Maya said you been acting fake. You been acting fake? No, see, I was tired. I was doing what I wanted. So, that's what's going on with me and my baby. Hi. Say hello, aunties and uncles. Girl, she's like, I'm tired. I don't have time for this. I know. Mm. So, oh my gosh, 
one more thing. I forgot to show y'all. So I ended up going to Target and got these as well. Y'all know I'm from the DMV, so I love me some mumble sauce. So I had this one before. It was super good, the mild. And then somebody was like, you got to try the sweet hot because it's not that hot. So I'm going to try that. Super good. And then I also ended up getting this because I heard um, Kyra talking about this. So I was like, okay, I want to try this. And it's silver water and birch. And every time I see it, it's in the men's section. Every time I see it, it's like sold out. And we got the other one. So I was like, let me try this one. But when I smelled it, it did smell good. Like I see, it smelled like a super clean, fresh scent. Very like, like green. Very like sophisticated. And I could see it smelling good with like other perfumes. So definitely she put me on. And then I also ended up getting these scrunchies. Because I feel like for like a day today, I could literally have this scrunchie on pulling my hair back and it would have been like a cute little vibe you know just holding my hair back but you know the vibe y'all know how the girls be doing and i've been looking for these i even went on amazon but the amazon had like super looking cheap ones and i was like i don't like that so they came with gray it was like six dollars or six something and then i got two black one gray one white and then one like light gray so these are super good for if you're working out on the go or just want your hair out your face but damn so feel you and it's since i was like six something it was like a dollar some change for each scrunchie so they do also have another bundle package that has different colors as well so just want to throw that out there y'all that y'all know so let me know if y'all like these hauls and stuff let me know because i don't want to keep doing them if they like boring so let me know if y'all like into that kind of stuff as well for sure so I will see y'all when I'm about to clean or do something else. I don't know. I'm about to eat right now, though. Baby, I'm here getting the the hair done. He did this. I, I was a little. I was a little. I was like, "What are you gonna do?" But he did what needed to be done. Hello. You thought you could be my neck. He was browner. I don't want to be your neck if I was browner. Right in love. Ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Child, I'm starting my day getting my hair done like a queen. <laughs> <laughs> like a queen. You I'm not gonna delusional. I'm not gonna let the girls um, make me feel away about being a queen. <laughs> you are crazy. Can I get that little baby hair to be like swirly this way, swirly that way? If your wig meets the requirements, <laughs> yes I can do that. You know this wig is only a two by six. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Does it need to be plucked more? Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this since 08. Tell the people your stuff so they can book you. Follow me on Instagram at IconHairMY. Don't book him too much though, because if he gets too booked, then I'm gonna come on here and bash him. <laughs> Cause then I can't get mine stuck. Oh. But I'm coming back tomorrow so we can eat on this little style he been wanting to do. I try to persuade him to do it multiple ways, but you know how people are, they don't want to do it. They want to do stuff their way. Yes, because that's the only way it's going to look cute. I kept telling you that. <laughs> you know what, though? No, I ain't even going to lie. I didn't want to tell you it was right. But when I sat home and really thought about it, I said, damn, that would be a thin ponytail. Exactly. I was trying to get him. I'm not even going to tell you what <laughs> He kept saying, that's not possible. No, here's a video. No, that's not possible. Why do you and keep was, trying to change it? He was really trying to talk me into it. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Normally, when I talk people into something else, they do it. But he stood his ground. Yeah. We love a girl that stands her ground. Don't burn me. Why would I burn you? Why would I lose when I'm already chose? I know you've like... been burnt in other ways, but I'm not gonna burn you. Oh, bitch, you're dragging it. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Stop, because I'm gonna burn you. <laughs> <laughs> not quickly. Do the thumb now. <laughs> <laughs> Should I put a baby hair up here just so I can, um, it can look like it's something else? So I didn't, I didn't, Tay did this install. I just tacked it back down because she did a pretty good job. So. Well, he did good over here. Yeah, I don't you know did. what he, because I didn't really pluck. You did a good job though. Oh, him. you gave me my flowers because he was in here telling me I looked a mess yeah. earlier and I should have tried again. You know, I switch up when the camera gets on. Ah! Fake. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to go where I want it. So I'll see y'all later. Okay, y'all. So... I just got finished getting my hair done. 
I told my best friend I was going to get my hair done. This boy do not read his text messages. This girl, why he ended up at my house? I said I'm not home. So I don't know where he ended up going, but I'm on my way to my house now. And yeah, so I have to um, pretty much just take them to the bathroom, relax, start doing my makeup. And yeah. And what is going on? But that's all I'm doing right now. Girl, every time I go over there, he be having me laughing and cracking up. But see you all. Girl, Tara, thank God Tara had to zip me up because I don't know how else I was going to make a shake. Leave the tag on. I'm returning it. So this is what this Look at Denim. You can go in there at night. Don't you? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like that black one. Yeah. Your thighs look funny, girl. Yes, they do. You said this was going to make the name on me. Yeah. Tell them something that do this blue about. dress, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. Tell them what if I do the blue. But it's basic. That's why I say the blue. Because you're not do. <laughs> no. Or this one. So okay. Mean. Uh, this one might. Tell I was a hot mess. Let me see in the mirror. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at that, but that's the one so far. That's all it's going to give, Tehran. This. You don't think this one either? You the one said no. You said it was giving clunky. I, you said you didn't want it to be that. Yeah, that is better. That's the best one. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay. All right, Maya, call you back when I'm done. Let me see how that's you tell you. look goddamn good. Mm -hmm. You do. You really Thanks, look good. Thanks, boo. Oh, Denim, get out. Come on. <laughs> Brianna finally made it. She was so late. <laughs> I had to leave her. But we had a blast. Ashanti performed. City Girls performed. Miguel performed. It was a cute key. What'd you think? Mm -hmm. It was real fun. She flew in all the way from Baltimore and canceled her clients. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them I did. <laughs> I told them I was sick. Why I met a girl, she had the same dresses on as me and we just started dancing like twins. <laughs> she was like, what's your Instagram? I said, you pretty. I do my makeup so well and this eye starts watering. Mm -hmm. 
How do I stop it from watering? Just because I just. But I did the way. thing where they said put a hot compress and rub my eyes. How you gonna rub it though if you just did your makeup? I know. At before you do it. Okay. But this eye watered. If this one didn't water, this would have been perfect. Mm, I used to just close my eyes and roll them to the side. When you got closed, you can't open them and roll them. You gotta like. It don't never stop. But I got some numbers tonight. Did you? No. That one. <laughs> You were busy. Hoeing. Hoeing. But yeah, I had a blast. I think we're going to an after party. So we can do more damage. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm on Ponce Market. And I came down here for my friend's birthday. So I'm going to Bark Vegan. But I have to go back to my car because I have to get my keys. But, I mean not my keys, my name wallet. But yes, that's where I'm going real quick. You know, with my little bag, period. And I'm all set. The drink is vegan. I just left my friend. I literally was only there for like 20 minutes. And they were eating at Bar Vegan. That food was good. I ended up giving me like a Philly cheese steak, but it was super yummy. I did not realize I had this many Geminis in my life. I literally have three different people whose birthdays things is today. So my homeboy Zach, he does photos out here in Atlanta. I met him my first time I was out here in Atlanta. He's super cool and sweet. And then my second friend Zay, her pool party is tomorrow. So I'm definitely going there, but she wants to do a little turn up session tonight. And then my other girl I met, um, her name is Gigi. I met her at a Love and Hip Hop filming set. And basically she was super sweet. So we just stayed in contact since then. It's her birthday too. So I'm like, dang, it really is Gemini season. I can't even play y'all because y'all coming in hot and ready little seasons. So that's all I'm doing right now. I went there. They going to experience. It's another little lounge in Atlanta. So I'm about to go back home. I got to give Denim a bath because she is, I don't know. I might not give her a bath today. I might give it tomorrow because she, uh, it depends on how she feels. Because sometimes she'll be like, ah. And if she's doing all that, I'm not doing it. But um, I'm going to give her a bath. Probably either today or tomorrow. But I do need to go home and figure out what I want to wear tonight and be cute. I'm wearing some flats. Because I'm just giving, I'm outside a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. And yeah, the girl is out, honey. And her. Girl, I play questions on my little story today. They try to be messy asking me. What, is you and the DJ together? No. And I'm mad at her right now. So no. I'm definitely going to say no. <laughs> but I'll answer someone here too. After I get my... You know what though? Maybe that'll be cute for me to do a little Q&A questions on here. Because why not? And... Yeah, so I'm going to go home, get a little bath, get my little makeup on, and then I'm going to get outside. I'm going to get outside. I have no clue what I want to wear, though, because I want to do, like, a creative makeup look. I want to start doing more better looks, and I got to put my little press ones back on all that stuff. So, I'll see y'all in a minute, honey. I'll see y'all in a minute. Honey, I did my big one on the makeup. Look. So, we're giving pink. And then I'm gonna put my little slides on. And then I'm out. This is just basic though, to be honest. I'll probably wear this a multiple times because I mean it ain't really nothing going on with it. But y'all see it. So I'm going out with my homegirl Zay. And I don't know where I'm gonna end up after that. Clearly, I'm gonna take y'all with me though. And yeah, then we, ooh, and I'm gonna talk about it. But I gotta put my press on nails. Girl, I'm over here trying to do my nails as fast as I can. I was supposed to be at the club at 11.15. It's 11.35. I'm already late. So, I'm a, you know what I do when I'm late? I always text my friend and be like, um, where are you at? But I need to hurry up. Especially, especially since I have so many different birthday functions to make it to tonight. And I don't think I'm going to make it to both. I'm going to try. But I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't drink a drive. And honey, I don't drink a drive. But one drink, that don't be doing much. Two, 
all right, I'm all right. But when we get like the four, five, six, okay, I'm not driving. Because one thing about it, no. I don't understand how I'm late though. I came in here. You know what it was? I was picking my clothes. That be the thing that get me. I don't be picking my clothes right. But you know what? Moving forward, I kept telling myself I was going to start pre-planning my outfits. Now, I think that, I think that's going to be some good tea for me. Pre-planning my outfits. I definitely think that's going to rock my world and to have me like in other stuff. Like working better, working quicker, working smarter. Smarter, not harder. Okay, so I got my nails on. I'm gonna answer these questions more. Okay, I'm gonna have to transfer to my phone because mm, I don't wanna run out of memory. So I will be, oh, girl, I almost forgot to put deodorant on. Look, I hate when I be doing that. I'll be in the club stinking and nobody wants that. Oh my God, I gotta put my ring on and my watch. And then I'm done. Okay, I am back. I'm officially back. Oh, Lord, Lord have mercy. I mean, this time I'm gonna be when I have my kids. Y'all remember this, cause y'all been watching me since I was in college. So remember this, when I'm walking around my house, vlogging, looking for my kids, when they ain't home at curfew time, where's your mama? Come in here, get them. That's what I'm gonna be saying, period. But y'all, I went out to Fin and Feathers, and when I tell you, first off, a lot of my subbies was in there. They were super sweet, fun, just speaking, say hello and stuff. I'm like okay, period. And then I know me, cause I be, I'm not, not I'm in here trying to cut my lace, but. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I just cut that. It just made me feel like cutting. But anyway. So girl, why? Okay, so y'all know I said I was playing questions. Let me get my phone. Let me get my phone. Cause y'all know I said I was playing questions earlier. Oh my gosh, she's still up. I'm about to call her. So I was playing questions earlier and I was like asking me any type of questions. So I got this ex. I don't know if y'all remember her, but I barely talked about her. I wouldn't even really, I, to be honest, I wouldn't even really consider her to be an ex because it's like you actually gotta like a person for them to be an ex. Like that was a joke, that whole relationship, whatever. This girl I used to talk to. Girl, first off, I, don't, I didn't even know she still followed me like anywhere. Why on the question game is she going to say, let me, let me forbade me because I don't want to say the wrong thing. This hoe going to say, when we getting back together? Never. <laughs> We will not be getting back together ever. Please cut it out. Like, girl, I ain't talked to you in probably freaking six to seven years. Maybe longer than that. And it's so crazy because another girl I used to talk to, we went on one date. We met off social media, went on one date. I seen her for the first time. She was a catfish. And I stopped talking to her like immediately. That's one thing I can't say about myself. 
You know how some girls be out here just talking to any female? And you be like, how in the world do they start talking? You don't think that with me. Anybody I talk to, I'm going to stick beside them. Because I feel like they was cute. They had money. And they had something going on. So, to be honest, do I ever be embarrassed about any of my exes? Or embarrassed about... I'm not embarrassed about any of my exes. Like a person I claim, I ain't embarrassed by them. Except for that one girl I just told you about. I was like, where you come from? Like, go away. But anybody I really like put on blast and was like, that's my person? Mm -mm. I don't feel no ways about them because at the end of the day, if I let you be my ex, or if I picture and put you in that spot, you were you were picked. You were nominated. You made it to the first final round. So I don't have no problems with seeing you as mine. Now I might not like your ways when you was with me, but as far as looking back, I ain't like, oh my. You was up like no, I don't feel like that. I told you I was gonna answer some questions, so why not do it while I'm lit? Let me ask one. Someone said, How do you make friends as an adult? I think it's super easy to make friends as an adult. All I do is go out. Sit at the bar. Yeah. Excuse me. Get a little happy hour drink. And literally whoever's the closest to me, I just start talking to them. That's all I do. Like today, my friend, I went to his birthday party, but all the seats at the table were taken. I just literally started talking to whoever's next to me. And I know it can sound probably a little scary and intimidating at first, but... I just jump out there because I feel like at the end of the day, like, they don't know me. Let's say the conversation go bad. I ain't never got to see them again in my life. But if it go good, it could be my friend. Someone said, how do I leave someone who isn't treating me good and I'm a leaper too? To be honest, and I ain't even going to give you no cliche answer. I feel like when you've had enough, that's when you'll leave. When I had enough, that's when I was ready to choke the deuces. But before then, couldn't nobody say nothing to me or I couldn't say nothing to myself. But it was like weird. When I was ready to go, it was off. So many big, great, horrible things happen, right? And then the one time I'm ready to go, it'd be the smallest thing. And that'd be like my last straw. But I guess that's my last straw. Because I done dealt with so much other BS before that. But normally I don't be leaving. Like. But once I'm fed up. I'm fed up. When you done. When you sick of it. And you want something new. That's where you'll stop. I can't say like. Oh pick yourself. Choose yourself. Because at the end of the day. I feel like most of us do. But when you love somebody, you just go through hell with them. So I'm gonna say, are you in, I don't even wanna say the name. Are you, I don't, I really don't like saying people's name like that. We not like, you know, but they say, are you in so-so working on a friendship now that you're on the East Coast? No. Anybody I used to be friends with and we not friends no more, I wish them the best. Like, I feel like I just keep moving. Like, that's one thing I have learned is the world keeps it moving and so do I. I don't dwell on stuff. I used to do that. I used to dwell on stuff, think of different outcomes, think about how I could have fixed it. I don't do that no more. I just let it go. So, me and somebody not cool right now. We just not cool. But it's nobody I'm working on anything with. Like, if me and a person has been cool in the past, and y'all wondering if we cool now, no. <laughs> if we was cool in the past, and you don't see them now, we still not cool now. They ain't even not cool. We just still don't communicate. And that go for anybody y'all used to see. Except for the people that I just haven't talked to in a long time. This is my last one. 
Would you change anything about your past? Ooh, that's a big one. Would I change anything about my past? Um, the one thing I would want to change is back in 2015, when I was in my breakup, just how hard I took it. And I wish I had just realized, like, you know, it's going to be okay. Like, it's not the end. Like, you're going to meet somebody else. But in the same breath, I'm really thankful for how I, how hard I did take it. Because if I didn't take my breakup as hard as I did, or that relationship, I would have never moved to California. That was one of the main reasons, like biggest reasons I moved to California. I wanted a new start. I wanted to start over. I wanted to be somewhere where no one knew me. So, I will say... It's like yes and no because it's like I know if I didn't go through that breakup as big as I did and hard as I did, I probably wouldn't end up in California. California really changed my life for the better. Well, LA, Los Angeles, California really did a lot for me. You know, even though I'm not there no more and I outgrew it, like it did a lot for me in that space. But that's probably the only thing. And maybe when I be in relationships, I wouldn't have doubled back. I would have, after the first time it didn't work out, I would have just left it alone the first time. Same with friendships. If friendships didn't work out the first time, I wouldn't have doubled back on them either. Like, even going far back as, like, freaking elementary. <laughs> elementary is dragging because I don't even really remember elementary. But definitely going as far back as, like, high, I mean, college. Yeah, I would have definitely realized I would have changed how I dealt with my emotions but you know I'm way better now but I guess I would have dealt with them this different now too cause at that time if I'm just going to be completely honest and transparent, I didn't really have the tools to be healthy mentally. <sighs> I freaking scarred my face right there, so hopefully it leaves. But what I was saying is, like, back then, I didn't really have the tools to be healthy mentally because I was just all over the place. I really was. I wish I did, though. But, you know... In all in all, I guess I really don't regret nothing. I mean, I would want to change that, but then it probably would have changed my outcome of me. I definitely probably wouldn't have been who I am. One thing I noticed is, one thing I noticed about myself is pain has fueled a lot of my success. Meaning, when I have been hurt or when I've gone through something, that's when that dog come out of me. And I want my success now to be fueled by not pain, but something else. I'm not sure what, but something. Like, if you think about it, I was in pain, so I moved to California. I was in pain, just in, my men in a mental prison. That's why I was posting so many videos. I was in pain... Like, so many different things. And then it's like, even as, you know, I just, y'all know. The people that have been following me, if you know, you know. So, that's something I'm working through. Like, pain has fueled a lot of my success. Because when I'm upset mentally or in pain or just hurting or in a mental prison, that's when I'm the most consistent on YouTube most consistent with my businesses um and I post the most on Instagram and do all that stuff so you know I just don't want to be fueled by pain anymore I want to be fueled by just me being motivated I don't know but I hope that was cute for y'all my little get ready with me I took my makeup off thank god I burned my face so I don't know 
leave that alone. But I'm going to bed, or I'll probably watch a couple of episodes of Sisters before I go to bed. And yeah, good night, my loves. I will see y'all tomorrow. My friend's having a party. Um, she says she want to have a pool party, but it's supposed to rain, so we might go to like the lounge. And then my other friend Gigi, she's doing something for her birthday. I did not make it tonight, so I'm definitely gonna make it tomorrow. <laughs>